What's going on? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is the words that I was told to say. So we welcome you. We welcome you once. We welcome you twice. We welcome you three Hi. times in Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Alicia. It's your for all teeth. So today we are in the kitchen cooking fried chicken. Not really, but we are cooking chicken. Anyway, so we're cooking today, y'all. And we wanted to bring y'all along. So come on in our kitchen and cook with us. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. So um today we are cooking what's called chicken mozzarella pasta with sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I am trying to work on eating more, like, just different stuff. I don't really like tomatoes or vegetables or anything like that, but anyway, so, hopefully this dish is good. I love chicken, I love pasta. I'm trying to add the sun-dried tomatoes part just so I can get some variety in my diet. How about y'all help her in the chat and in the, uh, not the in chat, the comments. in the comments. Put some, give her some ideas. Give yeah. People who are picky eaters, she's not a picky eater, of some, <laughs> some ideas for stuff she can eat, you know. Yeah, ba because baby I, step her in the veggies. Like, if I want to eat veggies, they just all taste very nasty to me. So, yeah. so Tim is about to wash the chicken. Um, I'm gonna set y'all up over here so y'all can get a better view of like the actual cooking and everything. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients real quick so y'all can, you know, maybe I want to chef this up later on. I'm so these are the main ingredients. Let me turn this water off real quick. Um, these are the main ingredients that you need. You need some sun-dried tomatoes, some minced garlic, some paprika. We were doing HelloFresh, so um, we're just going to use the paprika that came in the little HelloFresh meal thing um, instead of opening our new jar. And then we got some Italian seasoning. It calls for basil, but we don't have basil, so we're just going to use Italian seasoning. Um, garlic powder, of course, pasta. We're going to do panne. Is that how you say that? Panne? Yeah, so we're going to do penne. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyways. And then, of course, chicken. First, we're going to start out with our sun-dried tomatoes and our minced garlic. Um, oh, two other things we forgot to tell y'all. Y'all are going to need, if you want to use them, are some measuring spoons and a measuring cup, if you want it. Um, I like to have accurate, you know, measurements when I follow recipes, but yeah, anyway. All right, so the first thing, we're going to put two tablespoons of oil. Can y'all see that? Garlic. Sun dried tomatoes. So it calls for three to four ounces of sun dried tomatoes. We bought a three ounce pack. Um, so we're just going to dump all these in there. This is a lot. Three to four ounces of sun dried tomatoes. So next it says to um, put the sun-dried tomatoes or take them out of the pan um, and then add the chicken to the oil that's in there. Um, we added a little bit more oil because our pan was just not oil. Alright, so um, for the chicken, it said to salt the chicken and lightly cover in paprika. We're not about that life, so we're going to add, we're not about that life, we're about the seasoning life. So we're going to add some Tony Saturies. Not a sponsor. Yeah, this is not a sponsor. Um, but you can. Definitely. Here you go, bud. So Tim's going to put Tony Saturies on there. Um, and what you want to do is you just want to put all of it in there. You want to, you know what? Not open. <laughs> I was like, is it even coming out? 
chilled on the chicken. Tim put Tony Satchery's on the chicken. So it's a little bit of a tint to it. Yeah, yeah. Tony Satchery's is kind of spicy. So if you don't really like spicy, I would not use Tony Satchery's. You could probably use like seasoning salt or adobo. Um, you know, your regular like garlic powder, garlic salt, onion powder, stuff like that. Um, I would use those things, but not Tony Satchery's. Because Tony Satchery's is a Creole seasoning. So it makes things a little spicy. You can cut your chicken up real small. Oh, well, not too small, but you know, in like little bite style pieces. <laughs> Tim is having a seasoning attack back here. And seasoning got to him. See, we did not have to put all that oil. Because it, it picked it up. I know, I'm just saying, but it picked up all the sun dried tomato stuff. Yeah, because we put oil back in it. I don't think so. I think we are okay with the chicken juice. The chicken juice is just water, so it would have evaporated and started burning. Okay. Y'all, Tim knows a lot more about cooking than me because I don't really cook like that, but we about to start now. We're going So, um, definitely a error on our part. <laughs> definitely start boiling your noodles before you cook your chicken. We completely just forgot about that because we've been following this dog on recipe. They didn't say nothing about the noodles. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start boiling our noodles. All right, so here is our pot of water for boiling. Um, Tim put some salt in there. We put salt in our um, noodle water just so that we don't have bland noodles. It's really a preference. We have our fire on the boiling water set to high, like as high as it can go um, without coming like outside of the pan or up from under the pan. Um, you know, it's helping it boil faster. Salt also, also seems to help the water boil faster too. So over there, Tim is cutting up the sun-dried tomatoes. It's said to cut them up into smaller pieces. Once Tim finishes, cut, finishes cutting up the sun-dried tomatoes, um, then we're gonna add them back to the chicken to um, simmer with the chicken store. And then we're gonna add half and half and mozzarella cheese and bring that to a boil and yeah. So this is supposed to be like a quick little 30 minute meal type of thing. Of course, it's a little longer for us because this is our first time making it. And we're also trying to explain as we go, so. I think it's also supposed to be a one pot meal too. Yes, it's also a one pot meal other than the water to boil the noodles, of course. Um, but yeah, so we've been trying to find some things that are quick, easy, um, and are healthy and tasty as well. So a lot of our dishes will probably include chicken and turkey. Um, so like ground turkey. Um, because we're trying to not eat so much red meat and not eat so much um, pork and beef and that kind of thing. One day we might try seafood. Yeah, I like seafood. Like I like shellfish, but Tim doesn't um, really like any seafood whatsoever. So we don't do much seafood around here. Um, if we do seafood, it's because we went to like a seafood restaurant and Tim got chicken tenders or some kind of chicken and I got crab legs or shrimp, something like that. But yeah, so we'll be back once he's finished with that and once he puts that in here. Um, and then we'll show y'all the cream making, like the cream sauce and how to make that. All right. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna add half and half. We have um, heavy cream. This is just because a lot of the dishes that we're gonna make throughout this will be with heavy cream. And um, also we like thicker sauces. Um, we don't want them to be too thin. So we're gonna use heavy cream. Um, we're gonna still use a cup. So hopefully it's not too different, but yeah, so we have to put a cup of heavy cream as well as a cup of mozzarella cheese shredded. So let's go ahead and do that. to end up um, adding more cheese. We just like to do our own thing with recipes. We just use recipes as guides. But yeah, so that was a cup of mozzarella and a cup of heavy cream. All 
All right, so as you can see, our water is boiling. So we are going to go ahead and drop in our pasta. Um, I would suggest not adding the heavy cream, or we would suggest not having the, adding the heavy cream um, or the half and half or the mozzarella until you've cooked your pasta because after you um, mix the, you can put that back on there. After you mix the, um, hot, the chicken and the cheese and stuff together, you're supposed to use some of your pasta water to kind of thin it out. But of course we don't have the pasta water, we just have water. <laughs> Um, like you said, we probably should just cook the pasta first or yeah. have the pasta cook it before we started the chicken. Right. But the recipe will call for you to cook your chicken and stuff first before you start your pasta. So just start your pasta first and like, or yeah, or at least at like the same time as you start the garlic and stuff, just start your pasta water, maybe even have it like let it get to a boil, put your pasta in and turn it down so that it can just be cooking. Um, but not cook too fast. So now we're just gonna let our cheese, chicken, and sun-dried tomatoes just kind of simmer um, while our pasta gets to cooking. All right, so if you use heavy cream, um, you can do this too. We're adding a little bit of milk to kind of thin it out. Tim did like three splashes. I think he should do one more, but... <laughs> All right, so we did about four splashes, um, and that's just helping it so that when we add this pasta water, it's still creamy, but it's not as thick as it just was. Um, so yeah, we're just stirring that around a little bit. We're letting the pasta boil. <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> that, that gives me enough grip to just get up under there. Being back here is just like, it hurts. Why'd you change your hand? <laughs> and being back here hurts. No, okay, get on. exactly. Like, being back do here, the same thing. it hurts. This is heavy. No, but let, me, not, let me try. <laughs> let me try, because you making this seem like I'm going to this. <laughs> what, what's wrong with doing that? That's what I was at. My hand is bigger than yours, and all of my hand is still on the spoon. Yeah, you exactly. Like you so have... when I'm back there, my hand's little, no, so I got further don't... space. Your hand can be here. That's what I'm saying. You are here. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are here. You, <laughs> you, you, you are. making a mess. Cooking is supposed to be fun and messy. You need to taste that. You don't like it? I don't know if you're going to like it. It doesn't taste bad to me. Uh, I think you might like it because it's a little sweet. Because of the tomatoes. It's got Tony Satchers. No, it's not. Tony Satchers. I'm so sad. This is why I don't eat vegetables and fruit and all that stuff. I think it's too savory, but like not in a Alfredo way. <laughs> it's not Alfredo. I know. See, you made this thinking you was gonna get Alfredo. No, I, I made this thinking it was gonna be mozzarella, but like I'm thinking about a mozzarella stick. I don't cook y'all, tell me cooking. Um, let's see, add basil and stir, okay. So that's what he just did. Oh, add, add cooked pasta to the skillet with the creamy sauce and stir to combine and then add basil. Yeah. Anyways, okay, add about a half a cup of pasta water because the creamy sauce will be too thick. Do not add all the water at once. Also, before we do that, I'm about to check the pasta. He's just gonna bite and eat it. I don't like pasta like that. Mm, perfect. Okay, this water, this will water down the thickness of the cheese sauce and make it creamier. Immediately season the pasta with salt and more red pepper flakes. We didn't even add red pepper flakes. Yeah, I don't want red pepper flakes because it's totally separate. So y'all, I'm just gonna get this. This is a cup, so I'm just dipping it in there. It's about a half a cup. three fourths of the way full. Oh, he just went for it. Hopefully that watered down some of that seasoning, that salt. You don't taste I meant, salt. I meant that, uh, like it's still savory. It's not salty, but it's savory. It's like, I'm, getting, I'm almost, it's a, nasty. I'm like 90% <laughs> sure you only taste this tomato. That's what I'm saying. Them tomatoes are disgusting. So you need more salt. Let it simmer for a couple of minutes for flavors to combine. Make sure to salt the dish just enough to bring out the flavors. So we need to add some salt. 
Literally, Jesse. You did say that. You had a booger come out. As you can see, after we added the pasta water, we actually have like a whole kind of a sauce kind of situation that when you put your pasta in there, it's actually gonna cover and not just be a lump of cheese. Yeah, what he said. So we're gonna put the top on it and let it simmer. Put some salt on it. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> let me taste it since you put that uh, pasta water in it. Ouch! Ew. It's still nasty, but it's better. So let me talk to my viewers who, who don't have as particular of a taste as my wife. This dish tastes fine. It, it tastes fine right now. You can add more, but it, it tastes fine. Okay? Gotcha. You can add, I don't know. I don't like the combination of Tony Satchi's with that. You probably just need regular salt. Let's do it. Wait, what do you think? Tony I like Tony C. So Tony it's, C's makes- It's any, Tony Satchi's. Tony C's tastes better for me <laughs> with anything. Okay, go ahead and put some Cedric's because you be making no, good dishes. You be cooking, fine. you be chefing up. So I'm going to trust you, and if I need to add sugar, I will. I mean, if sugar is going to fix the world or hurt for you, because once it's 20 C's in there, it can't get out. That's fine. Because usually if something is too salty, I just add sugar. Just a little bit. You should do like salt bay. I'm dead. <laughs> I can't even see You making a mess. That's enough. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. So, oh my gosh. Now here's the danger of using Tony C's in high quantities, even in low quantities. It's like a bomb of seasoning just went off in your nose. No matter how protected you think you are, you're not protected enough. In other words, he about to be sneezing everywhere while I stir the rest of this. And since only me and her are eating this, I guess You better not gonna... spit on this food. That's it's, disgusting. It's just gonna add a little flavor. That's disgusting. It's a little, it's a little hint of, ah. Put them pastas in here. Come on, before they keep cooking. You're supposed to cool them off when they're done, not just move the pot water. You no, know, you should drain your pasta if you are good with how it tastes. Because if you leave it in the pot, it will continue to cook. So Tim doesn't like soggy noodles, yet he left the noodles in the pot to continue to cook. <laughs> because what Tim did was cook the noodles to al dente, so they're actually a little bit harder than she likes them. So now they're probably exactly where she wants them to be. <laughs> and I'll just stir this up for you as you continue to add overcooked noodles. Guys, I want y'all to understand that cooking is what you want it to be, okay? I know their recipes, I'm not saying that you can't follow them. And if you feel safer following your recipes, this is no shade on you. I also want you to understand that just as much as you can be your own person in the world, you can be your own chef in your kitchen, okay? All right, so we're gonna put some cheese on Salt. top of this. We're gonna put some cheese on top of this and put it in our oven to like broil it a little bit. And then we're gonna eat it like that. So we'll be right back. Before we do that, we're Before gonna we do, do a that, tasty. We're gonna do a little taste test, but I'm also gonna show you guys what it looks like. Move everything. Mm -mm, eat that. So now Tim is just sprinkling on a little bit of mozzarella. And we're gonna add some parmesan. Can you like push it to the outside a little bit? You want it all over? Just like, you know, spread okay, it well, out. Put it all over. But there's gonna be a lot in this one little area. No, babe, that's a lot of cheese. You don't listen. This whole sauce is cheese. Exactly. So we don't need all this cheese. We don't need none of this. This, guys, this is not a healthy dish. It's not. <laughs> I don't know. There wasn't nothing about this healthy. The healthiest Wait, thing about Parmesan. this. You want it on here? Yeah. All right. Now we are going in the oven. We're just gonna broil it for a second. All right. So now. We're gonna let that be in there for a little bit. Um, get a little golden. I don't know why I did that like that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's gonna get a little golden. And then we're going to do <laughs> We're going to do a little plate reveal and whatnot. And then we're gonna chow down y'all because we ain't ate all day. All right. So we let it sit in there for maybe like five to seven minutes. And this is what we have. Please be sure if you ever plan on putting a pan into the oven, it should go without saying, but maybe you don't think about it. 
The hand is gonna be hot, so have a towel, have other mint, something, please. Don't be that person that's just like, ah, yeah! And then you're gonna be like a person that's like, you gotta have butt skin grass on your hand. Yeah. All right, y'all, so yeah, we about to eat. I can't wait to show y'all our plates. I'm so excited to eat, I'm so hungry. We got a lot of pasta left over because our box was two pounds, but we only needed one pound to cook the stuff. You doing too much. <laughs> um, so we have a lot of pasta left over. We're just gonna use that and put some um, Alfredo sauce on it for like later on in the week. You know, cause we're gonna try to cook. We're gonna have, we're gonna try to eat something that we cooked um, every day out the week and maybe eat out on like Saturdays or something, but we're gonna try to refrain from eating out as much as we can unless we're celebrating or something like that. But yeah, guys, so let's get these plates. Okay. All right, y'all, so this is what we're going with. Not going with, but this is what we got going on, basically. It looks so good, Tim plated our plates. And yeah. All right, y'all, so we are done cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed our first time. This might be the second time, first or second time, Cooking with the Knee Smiths. We're gonna go eat and yeah, and then we're gonna probably watch a movie and all that kind of stuff. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, we love you, God loves you, you are loved. See you in the next video. Bye.